And gently what we do is we just again just barely get it in her mouth and she seems to kind of clamp down on it right away which is always a good sign. Oh, come on girl. Oh my gosh. This is not fun. Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog. And now with the zoo being open on the weekends, I have to do all the maintenance every single day of course. And uh, this girl shed out, look at the cage. I have to get in there and really clean that up. Lucy looks like she's just out of the water, so we're gonna drain her water, get that back going. She's probably gonna be shedding any day, so we'll see how that works in this cage. This albino boa just shed yesterday, didn't mess up the cage too much. But again, when you're keeping things like in the minimalistic type caging, it's much easier to get going. With this, it's definitely gonna be a little bit harder to keep things upkeep, but I'm loving it. Lots of maintenance. Also, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update on cookies and cream next door. We're going to spend a little time there too, but for now, just uh, working a little bit on the Reptarium. Sorry, did you just come over to the Reptarium just to get my bag of donuts? These are not your donuts. <laughs> you literally came over there just for donuts? I took out the trash too. <laughs> oh A lot of people have asked us like how are we going to maintain these cages and stuff like that because obviously it's a lot different than say a plain cage so one of the things that we've done is we have this really soft wire brush so with a shed like this you can just literally go like this and it comes right off I mean it's absolutely incredible like that and we're going to learn like little process like this and then we can actually put this in disinfectant between cages so that we're not spreading things in between cages that's just one little trick that we've already learned uh, I'm sure we're going to have to learn a lot more as we go. You know, it's certainly not as easy as uh, our other cages. There's no doubt about that. But the good news is with all these rocky edges, I mean, she shed out absolutely perfectly. And again, when she's in here with the humidity up more, I expect there to be more full sheds, unlike this one where she kind of blew it out. But in the end, it really wasn't that bad. You know, again, it's all a learning curve. Like I mentioned, it's kind of like shedding day here at the zoo. I think a lot of the snakes got together and said, hey, let's all shed today. Uh, so we have loves to nip. It looks like she is mostly shed. She's got a little bit of shed left on her tail. But we're gonna go ahead and get her out, maybe give her a little soak, get the rest of that shed off, and then clean her cage up. This ought to be fun. You okay, girl? It's all right, sweetie. Uh oh, oh, come on, girl. Oh my gosh, this is not fun. It's okay, sweetie. Oh. Okay. And in actuality, she was 100% shed out. She just had some shed wrapped around her. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And all said and done, she took a couple little pops at me. But for the most part, that went pretty smoothly. And honestly, that was like a perfect shed. I mean, there's not even any remnants in there. So, uh, so again, we'll just get her back in her cage and move on to the next. There's so many things that have been fulfilling about doing this zoo. But I'll be honest with you, just seeing the animals and the way they react to things is amazing to me. I mean, just take a look at how that retic uses the rocks and climbs. This makes me so happy because you know I'm giving them an opportunity to have enrichment kind of figure things out plan things out and in the future we'll be like kind of hiding food in certain areas and give them the ability to go find it that'll help them as far as their enrichment goes so I absolutely love this last cage that I have to clean up is my sun glow sharp boa constrictor but it looks like Nova the frill dragon wants to come out for him and he's been hanging out right up here what's up Nova? what are you doing bud what are you doing what are you doing buddy what's up <laughs> There's no one that's been loving his cage more than Nova, and he is looking so good. He's gotten completely comfortable, so now he's running around. He's a great display animal. I was a little worried that he'd just be hiding all the time, but like I said, now that he's gotten completely comfortable with his cage, he's out almost all the time, and it's so amazing. Go ahead, Nova. Go ahead, bud. There you go, sweetheart. Oh my God, how awesome. Okay, let's get this boa cleaned up. She really didn't mess her cage up too much. She looks beautiful now that she's out of shed. And that's one thing again, it seems like these animals have only been in here for a few days, but man, they're coming out just beautiful, clean sheds. No stuck shed whatsoever. And in this case, she has a couple little pieces, but for the most part, she's shedding one complete piece, which is absolutely awesome. But look at how gorgeous she looks. And she was out a lot yesterday. People absolutely loved her and she is a sweetheart. Hi Bella. Hi sweetheart. How are you? How you doing sweetheart? You doing good? You ready for another fun day at the Reptarium? 
It's so awesome because literally this is what happens. Bella comes down, she wants some attention, and then she goes right back when she's done getting enough attention. She's absolutely amazing. Good girl. Back at BHB for a second and look at this. We have a couple little baby gargoyle geckos hatched out. And these are actually from the Elvira and Neferatu animals. And you can see we have one striped animal here and we have one blotchy animal. Jessica's gonna be happy when she sees this. A little cookies and cream update. You can see that they're still doing really well and eventually, hopefully, Hopefully he'll get big enough to go in the zoo, but for now we're still having to assist feed them. Again, the left head, which is actually cream, is the only one that seems to eat when we try to assist feed. And we've actually just been assist feeding them little pinky heads. A couple times Lori has gotten them to take an entire pinky, but most of the time if you do a pinky head, it takes it no problem or at least without any major problem. So with any luck, if we continue to get this nutrition in, and it is a great sign that it actually takes it down on its own. So we're not force feeding, we're just putting it in its mouth and it's actually eating it. That is really a good sign. I really do believe that these guys will eventually take off, get good, and then we can get them over to the zoo and you guys can come and see them. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in Cream's mouth and hopefully she'll eat. And gently, what we do is we just, again, just barely get it in her mouth and she seems to kind of clamp down on it right away, which is always a good sign. Then I'm just gonna set her down and hopefully she's gonna eat. And we're doing this every third day, so we're getting lots of nutrition in this way. So uh, let's go ahead, set her down, leave her alone, and hopefully she's going to eat it. And success, they did eat. Uh, a little bit unorthodox, but at least they are eating, and that's all that matters. Nutrition in, they're passing stuff. I know they're gonna get going as long as we can keep this up. I have faith they're gonna get going, and I cannot wait till they're big enough to get on display over at the zoo. And speaking of the zoo, let's go make our final preparations before we open the doors. Oh, and oh my gosh, look at all these albino Honduran milk snakes that hatched out. Oh man, they are so amazing. And this one kind of reminds me, remember last year when we had said albino Honduran that almost looked like the candy from the Halloween, like the candy corn or whatever they ended up calling it? Oh my gosh, this one looks almost just like it, just not as wide a yellow bands. Again, I had never really hatched albino Hondurans that had yellow bands like this before. And now that's two years in a row. Of course, the other one is growing up and looking amazing. And here it is right here. How cool is that? You can again see that really big big wide yellow band. Again, I had never really produced any of them like that before this one last year, but as you can see, it looks even cooler now that it's got some age to it. So it's pretty cool that that line seems to continue to produce another one. I'll probably hang on to that one too and raise it up and see if we can polymorphically produce albino Hondurans that have big wide yellow bands. Uh, hey buddy, uh, this is a family channel, but slow down, okay. These guys, I swear to God, these tortoises are crazy. And tomorrow at the zoo, we're actually planning on getting Rick and Morty's cage ready. So we're gonna get the turtle tanks plumbed in, get a nice little decoration going on with Rick and Morty. I'm really excited to have them on display next weekend so when everyone comes, they can see that. And that's kind of the plan, is to start to not only finish all the little things that we're doing, and then go back and refigure out the things that we kind of have to do fast because we're like, all right, we gotta get these cages going. So there is a lot of cool enclosures that we're gonna go through. As a matter of fact, down in the comments, let me know out of what you've seen, what you'd like to see us improve or change and how you'd like to do it. Down in the comments, let me know. And hey, if you guys have a great idea, I promise I'll give you credit and we'll do it. Well, the thing that's amazing about today, which is actually Sunday, I think you guys will be watching this on Tuesday, is that Sunday seem to be big for kids. I mean, a lot of kids have come through and I absolutely love it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love adults coming through and being passionate about animals, but when kids come through, oh my gosh, it is just so cool. I mean, they have so much fun. <laughs> And you guys know that I love the fact that people come in that have never held a snake. Now, you said you like snakes, but you've never held them. Yes. So this is your very first snake. You ready? Yes. This is a pastel piebald ball python. And there you go. Look at you like a pro. Oh my gosh, what do you this think? Is, it's super cool. Oh it feels so weird. <laughs> so this is awesome. Like I said, this is the thing that I really live for. And uh, there's been probably 15, maybe even 20 people this weekend that literally came in and had never touched a snake before. 
I am so happy that this is happening. This is what I envision, and I can't even believe it, but this is awesome. <laughs> As we're getting close to close here on the last day of the weekend for the Reptarium, I think today was more typical of what we're gonna see because the majority of people were really local, you know, within an hour driving range or something like that. It was really good to see all the kids that came out. I think the couple days before that, we had people traveling from a long way away, which by the way, thank you guys so much. Some people traveling as much as eight or nine hours. I don't think we're gonna see that often. I think that every now and then we're gonna have someone traveling, but I'm really excited that the local community really came out and supported it. And I hope that this is what we're gonna see every time we're open. For now, we have the next four days off closed. We're back to building some stuff out, getting the turtle tanks ready, finishing those backtracks, stuff like that. So I am excited to get back to work and giving the animals a little bit of a break, let them de-stress from all this. Because hey, it's an adjustment period for the animals as well. But tonight was an absolute success. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and call it a complete and utter success for the opening. But again, the build starts tomorrow. We're back to building tomorrow. So we have a long way to go. But thank you guys for joining me. Watch Watching. Thank you guys for coming out and doing things. Yo, I hope that you're not going to abandon me now. I mean, it's been so amazing that you guys have showed me so much support here. I hope that now that we're kind of done, even though we still have a long way to go, that you guys go, go, all right, I'm sick of it and I'm bored. I really hope that you stick around. Trust me, we have so many great things ahead of me and your support means the world to me. I truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the grand opening weekend be kind to someone and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>